Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D, episode 3, mission 11, or level 11 rather, which is the second secret of this episode. It's simply called Freeway. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and first and foremost, if you start the map and you do a 180, you fire an RPG into the... Crap, that's not what I wanted to do. That's okay, it'll work out. Drop down, pick up some RPG. Anyway, I wanted to apologize, uh, first and foremost, for the lack of activity on the channel. I kind of took a break. It wasn't anything I had planned to do. But Steam had been running their summer camp special. Which meant that they were running games, you know, as little as... You know, or as much as 50% off. So, uh, I kind of stocked up, so to speak. I was about to say, are you going to explode? So, yeah, um, I went and stocked up on games that I'm sure some of you have heard of. And there's one in particular that, uh has actually been requested, so I bought it just for you guys, because it was like six dollars. Yeah. I bought Mass Effect for six dollars. So, I will be doing an OP of Mass Effect. So, if you see this crack up here... Oh, I'm out of chain gun. Oh well. Jump up here once you uh, blow up the ledge. And we'll be brought to our very first secret. You know. Our very first secret. In the bathroom! Yeah. I couldn't resist. And a strange toilet that is, you know, not facing like normal toilets. So, drop down here. If you can't see, you can activate your night vision goggles. And for once, the goggles, they do something. Maybe one of these guys will drop me some chain gun ammo. Nope, of course. Oh, yeah, they did. I'll sit here and be buckshot. Hail to the king, baby. All right, jump up here and up here, and you get rewarded with some extra night vision goggles. If you didn't have them before. Ow, 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 what the crap? That kind of hurt. And that was a battle lord, obviously. And he's coming closer and closer and closer before Shish Kebab. And he's dead before that happens, thank God. Yeah, this is cutting it a little too close for my own good here. Where's my uh, first aid kit? There we go. There we go. They're all dead. Somebody woke up. Oh, that didn't do any good. Whatever. Jump up here. And be careful. Don't fall in there if you want to get the shotgun ammo. So once you finally, you know, do decide you want to drop down in here, be careful. Because you'll get sniped off pretty freaking quick. There's a jetpack down here, which is the only way to actually get back up. So, we're going to, you know, use it to not mess up. Where'd the hole go? There it is. Come up here to the top. Now, they say you need the jetpack to get over here, but you can actually just jump across. There we go. Jump up here, grab some pipe bombs if you need them, and a medikit if you need that too. I heard that. Where's it coming from? 
Oh. Obviously, it's not going to go over there. Let's try it this way. Yeah, whatever. Those things are just... Yeah, screw you too. As you can see, we can't open this door because it's blocked by this. However, we're going to go down here and get our second secret. Get away from me! Off of my face! Third secret? Unfortunately, we woke up uh, the big bad ugly out there, if you can hear him tromping around. However, there's a surprise out there. It's not just one. There is another one out here somewhere. There he is. And with that goes most of my health. And in here is secret number four. Come get some. Can turn the lights on and off here. Gonna need that devastator ammo. Anything in this face? Nope. Alright, since we have chain gun ammo, I suppose we can use it again. No enemies. So we'll just head back. Get up there. So now that we have the blue key, we can go through the blue door, which is over here. Well, that wasn't too bad. They're dead. Oh crap. Somehow I shot the button on the far wall and it just opened them all up. If you're lucky, you can slowly kind of snipe them off. And, yeah, this button triggers this yellow striped uh, area, so. Pressing it again, as you can see, you can close it from the inside. And here we have the Terminator from the first movie and an RPG that you can't reach in single-player mode, to my knowledge. Even though there's this button right here, and this window here, you can't really do much about it. However, you can, you know, lower that, but you still can't get in for some reason. Wait a second. I got in! Huh. I don't know how I just did that, but I did! Oh, I see! For some reason, when I crouch down to get under this first part here, it won't let me through. But as soon as I let go of crouch, I can actually go in here. So, that's kind of cool. I didn't uh, think I could get in here. Lesson learned. When in doubt, let go of crouch and hope it doesn't actually crush you. Alright, due to health, I'm just going to ride the elevator down. We could actually kind of finish the level, if I remember right. But we're not going to. We're going to drop back down the sewers here. And we're... Okay, yeah, it goes this way. Disoriented! Pick up the atomic health. And we'll just jetpack our way back up to the top. Wait. Never mind. I can't use that now. It's a health. Yay. Alright. So. Whoa.
Weekend pig cops are weakened. Is that barrel explodable? Yep. Alright. Time to finish the map. Get your RPG out right here. And be ready. Because this map ends with a bang. And that is the freeway. Tough map. And I'm not going to lie. Those battle lords out in that central area, you don't really have a lot of room to hide from them. So, pretty much the only real way to take them out is actually to just devastate or mow them down and hope to God that they don't kill you first. You saw that that second one that I fought kind of mowed through my health like it was nothing. I mean, it was done, gone, and over in <laughs> about five seconds flat, if even that. The map itself, you can... When I first played this, I didn't know that you could jump on that little building that's fallen over that has the jetpack inside of it. And so I never could, you know, finish it. On top of that, you know, it has the jetpack down inside of it, and I didn't realize I'd pick the jetpack up. So I didn't, I was just like, gee, they made this and you can't get out? And I just kept looking upwards going, hey, how'd I fall in? Because I didn't even know that there was a hole in it, so... The um, secrets really aren't that hard to find, but you can miss them. Especially the uh, the one that I, I had had the vase in it with the shrinker. That's probably the easiest one to miss. So that and maybe the the Devastator bookcase. I love the Terminator reference too, because. Uh, and I didn't even know you could get that RPG. I'm being flat out honest. I discovered that on the recording. So, yeah. Let's uh, wrap up the episode with the Stadium. The final level of Episode 3. We're finally here, so... I'll see you there. This is Ultimate Mantoid with Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D. Atomic Edition. Take care, and have fun.